Petrov's defense, classical attack, 5, d5 6. bd3 b7 7. nc6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. d4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. It is best. d5 takes space in the center, defends the knight on e4 and controls the c4 square. It is best. bd3 develops the bishop, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. It is best. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is the last book move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to double the pawns in front of the king. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This would be a missed chance to maneuver a queen to safety. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. There was only one good move there. This permits the opponent to take an open file with the rook. It is a mistake. This takes an open file a common method for activating a rook. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. 
it is excellent. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This defends a vulnerable pawn by pinning one of its attackers. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It falls flat. A very strong play. It is excellent. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to strengthen a pawn's defenses. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. There was only one good move there. This misses a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is a miss. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is a mistake. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. 